Hello and welcome to Hot Commodities Dhanteras Special. I'm Anisha Gupta and the headlines for today are Straight up and the gold is cheaper this Dhanteras. Prices, remember, are trading near three-month lows as gold buyers choose between the metal and a flurry of financial products linked to the precious space. And the industry experts as well as jewelers believe that physical demand will be higher than ETF or paper gold this festive season. And it's not just gold and silver. Retailers believe that significant uptick in diamond and platinum demand as well can be seen this festive season. Wishing all of viewers a very happy Dhanteras today, the first day of the five-day festival of Diwali. Since it is considered auspicious to purchase new things today, especially gold and other precious metals, we have with us a whole host of special guests, including some jewelers as well, to take us through what's trending this Dhanteras and what's expected during Diwali as well. Joining us now is Rajiv Pople, his director, Pople and Sons. Also joining us is Mr. K. Kalyanaraman from Kalyan Jewelers there. Mr. Kalyanaraman, hi, let's start with you. And how are you looking at the demand today on Dhanteras and around Diwali? Last year, Deepavali was fantastic, and this year we are expecting 20% uh, sales more than last year. Because people have a tendency to buy gold more and more, and the diamond sale has gone up like anything, so automatically the turnover will increase. So what are people buying more? Is it jewelry, or do you see investment demand also picking up during the day today? Now both, because people give sentimental value for gold jewellery and diamond jewellery, especially the younger age group also. They are just following their, uh, the, this tradition. And it is a plus point for them because this is, the, this is the only product for a safe investment. Because whenever they require money, they can enhance it immediately. Whereas in other articles, especially the land, if they invest in land, they cannot encash it immediately. Again, if they deposit in the bank, the interest rate is very, very uh, low margin they will get. And if they invest in shares, it is too much fluctuation is there. Whereas in gold, even one gram, if they invest, it comes only 2,600 rupees today. Um, and whenever they require money, they can encash it very easily. The only time they require to reach the shop only. So everybody sees two advantages. One, they can enjoy wearing this ornamental uh, article. Plus, it's a good investment. Fair point that. But there are also all, all these talks about perhaps an import duty cut coming in. If that happens, do you see the prices then decline further from where we are standing right now? The price is very fluctuating. It is fluctuation is too much. But people are not looking about the price. Because they, they know that it is a good investment and for all the festival, it is a must nowadays. I, as I told you, for the youngsters also, even for marriages or any other festival, they, it is a compulsory product to wear this gold jewellery or diamond jewellery. So they don't look the price. They know very well that today or tomorrow or day after tomorrow or the next year, the price will go up only. So nobody bother about the price. Mr. Kalyan Raman, there has been lots of volatility in the gold prices. On back of fears, of course, about the Fed interest rate hike can happen in the month of December is how the markets are playing with it. What do you make of that and what's your sense on the impact that it can have on prices? In the, if the U.S. increases the interest rate, definitely the price will come down a little bit. But the rupee versus the dollar, that will not come down. The rupee today... It is 65, 60 or something. And if the price for the gold is coming down, the rupee value will go up. So automatically the price may come down to 25 rupees or 30 rupees or 50 rupees maximum. But after that, after that, again it will go up. It is only, and 50%, there are 50, only 50% 50 chances for the U.S. to increase the interest rate. That is what I heard. And almost all, now itself the price has already come down to more than 100 rupees per gram. Mr. Kalyan Raman, we'll let you go at that. Thank you so much for joining us. So that's the view coming in from south of India, where the sales have been good. And Kalyan Jula says that they are looking at 20% of a jump up this time around during Dhanteras and Diwali. 
But let's go across to Ruchi Bhatia in New Delhi now and let's get a mood check and on exclusive conversation with Mr. R.K. Sharma, Chief Operating Officer, PC Jewelers. Let's listen in one word. Ruchi is catching up on the mood there. Mr. Sharma, thank you so much for joining us on ET now. Uh, it is a very busy day for you, of course, because of Dhanteras. What kind of trends are you picking up? This, this Dhanteras, uh, you can also see that there are a lot of customers here. And trend this year is very much positive in comparison to last two years. If we see gold prices, uh, they, uh, this uh, last year prices was ar around 28,000. This year it is 26, so 2,000 uh, less. So this is the impact of low gold prices as well as uh, both offers as well as uh, bumper draws. These are available for customers. Right. Uh, you know, you you uh, you know, while we were talking, you told us that uh, a lot of people are interested in jewelry, given the fact that there is a lot of high uh, sentimental value that is attached to it. But what about uh, the other forms of gold? Are people buying coins, uh, bars, jewelry, or, or or you know, is it just that that they're interested more in jewelry this time around? Uh, you see, uh, coins and bars are connected with investment demand. While jewelry is connected, uh, that is for uh, connected with sentiment and that people buy for wearing purposes. So both are the different segments. When we feel that uh, gold prices is going to up, going upward, then only investment demand will come. And this is not our part, our uh, area because we are selling jewelry only. Right. We are not in uh, coin business. My last question to you. Uh, do you think that the fact that there are stricter KYC norms as far as the government's gold monetization program is concerned or the sovereign gold bond is concerned, uh, do you think stricter KYC norms could make the scheme a non-starter? Actually, what I personally feel is that this is some hybrid type of uh, scheme. Either neither it is uh, interest earning scheme so that one can, it can be liquidity for some somebody, nor it is amnesty scheme so uh, people can surrender their gold. So I feel that there will be limited results of this scheme. All right, Delhi also seems to be buzzing with a lot of buying in gold and silver as PC Jewelers was mentioning that there are a lot of customers in the storerooms there. But Ruchi also caught up with some customers and Ruchi, what are they saying to you? Well, today is Dhan Teras, so that's the main reason I'm here. Uh, but yeah, it's a wedding season also coming in a few days. So I'm here to buy some uh, jewelry for my... Uh, for the uh, wedding in our family also. Okay. Uh, in the last three years, if you've seen, the prices of gold have really come down. You've come here with your mother. Auntie, you have also come here. In the last three years, the price of gold has become less. Do you think that the price of gold will go down from 25,000? No, it won't go down from 25,000. Do you think that the price of gold will go down from here? Yes. It won't go down from here? Hey, we are uh, buying today some very small earrings, diamond earrings. Right. Yes. So, you know, uh, is, it, uh, is it just uh, tokenism or is it uh, something that, uh, you know, given the fact that today is uh, Dhanteras, there is a lot of sentimental combined. value that combined. is... It's combined. Both it is tokenism and both it is uh, because of Dhanteras that we are purchasing. All right, those are customers buying in jewellery, diamond and everything else. And that was Ruchi all decked up getting you mood check from Delhi on Dhanteras. But let's also get in Rajiv Popley from Popley and Sons and he joins us in Mumbai to get a mood check here as well. Rajiv, hi, happy Dhanteras to you. What's been the sense in Mumbai? Have you seen buying pick up or year on year basis? Uh, how would you look at the trend? The buying is, uh, is quite strong for Dhanteras. Uh, we've been up since morning nine. Mm -hmm. And we'll be expecting to do midnight shopping today. Uh, so that's our mood already set for the day. And we've seen customers walking in for various requirements, whether it's jewelry, bullion and across, along with diamonds. So it, it's across the parameter where consumers are looking at different products, uh, looking at Dhanteras as the auspicious buy. Ajeev, on a year-to-year -year basis, what would you say? Is it flat sales this time around? Is it as good or as bad as previous year? Or have you seen an uptick? No, it's, uh, we've got the advantage of the gold price dip, so which mm. is very crucial uh, for a spontaneous result in, in purchases. Uh, consumers are getting the advantage of the price dip and we can easily look at a 15-20% uh, rise this year compared to last year. In spite of the gold price dip, the value also would be much higher. 
Rajiv, people seem to be believing that we wouldn't see much of a decline in prices coming in for here for gold. But uh, is it just gold or are people buying silver as well? And, uh, you know, of course, in last 10 years, gold prices have gained up by nearly 19%, but that hasn't been the case in the last three years. So are you advising people to buy it for a longer term? Because that really seems to work all the time. Uh, the advantage this year that they have is they are already buying on a low ebb. So all we can look at is a higher price from here. We've got the advantage of uh, the international pricing, which is as low as $1,070, an ounce, uh, which is very, very lucrative as a buy uh, in, in the international chart, if you have to see. Going ahead, we can easily look at $1,200 upwards in, in the coming 12 months uh, as international pricing. Uh, beyond that, we should also look at the possibility of a depreciation in the rupee, which is already uh, constantly on. We've already crossed 6640 today. Uh, which is a very, very low uh, number where the rupee is concerned. So effectively, what you will see as a result is the Indian gold price would be higher than what we have today. Well, that's a fair point, but it's not just gold and silver. Retailers believe that there's a significant uptick in diamond and platinum demand. And remember, it also is paper gold available for people to buy on this Dhanteras. We will talk about all of that after this very short break. Welcome back and we are discussing Dhantera's sale across India and till the time we have had positive response from various states in the country. Let's talk about on how the diamonds also are faring because that really seems to be taking a big chunk this time around. Sachin Jain, President for Evermark India now joins us with his sense on where that's happening. Sachin, hi, good to see you. Happy Dhantera's gold sales is one part. How are diamonds faring today? Well, Malisha, uh, first of all, a very warm and happy Dhanteras to you. Uh, I think from a, from a diamonds perspective, we did see the flow over the past two days as well. So I wouldn't sort of get uh, our spirits dampened on what we saw in the first few hours. I think the evening is still uh, left. It's a Monday. I think the, uh, the day of the week also matters. But I'm pretty positive that overall, by end of the next, uh, of the sum of the three days will be pretty good. Well, yes, such in the evening remains and until midnight, perhaps people are going to be shopping out today. But how would you rate the sales as compared to the previous year? Thanks, Manisha. Wish you a very happy Dhanteras as well. Uh, well, the diamond sales, if I compose for the past what happened over the weekend to today, it's not been bad. And I wouldn't sort of dampen our spirits on what we saw in the first few hours. Uh, it's not been bad to begin with. It's not been that great either. But I'm pretty hopeful for the next few hours, which will get us to the midnight of the day. Sajin, how would you look at the pattern change then? Because people in India are price sensitive, weight as well. But do you think today is a day or the festive time is a time when people really buy it because of emotional, sentiment, cultural values? Well, from a forever marks perspective, we definitely have seen a growth because, of course, ours, ours caters to a specific uh, you know, niche retailers. However, I think on an overall uh, level, it's been uh, almost an apple to apple over the last one year. And that's been our overall uh, sentiment. Uh, we see a lot of dynamism in terms of how uh, there's a dramatic shift in how people are buying simplistic pieces, some uh, things which are more wearable, slightly more practical sort of day in everyday sort of usage pieces, uh, keeping that in mind and that's been the sort of, uh, sort of move that I've seen over the last one year. Sachin, also would you say that the geographics also come into the picture when we talk about uh, the sales here because uh, how would you put it, what parts in India do you see getting better, doing better than the others? Well, I think, you know, there's still a very important part of the year that is left. Uh, of course, the last six months, if you were to look at Apple to Apple, it's not been that great. However, I think uh, with the way we're looking at or we're hoping the next uh, four or five months would go, I don't think it will be that dampened near. Let you go at that, Sachin. Thank you so much for joining us with your sense. That's, of course, Sachin Jen, president of Forever Mark, giving his view on how Indian sales seem to be in sense of diamond. Remember, it's an important part of jewelry, and Indians really seem to be catching up on that one as well. But I also caught up with Chintamani's jewelers with their take on the prices and demand on this festive season. Let's listen in. 
This time, uh, the traditional gold bullion sales and the gold, the traditional business as such does see a bit of a slowdown. But uh, we, I mean, we have compensated for that growth in terms of other unconventional categories like platinum, jadao, diamond jewelry, and lightweight is what is really going fast this season. There also was a gold monetization scheme launched by the PM previous week itself. Do you think people may just go away from physical and into paper gold? It, it will eventually happen, but not so soon, doesn't look like. I mean, everyone, especially on the festival days, nobody is going to buy gold on paper. On festival days, everyone wants to carry gold home and, in fact, wear jewelry. So, uh, yes, that will happen as a, uh, in terms of investment in gold over a longer period. Yes, people will go into paper gold, but not uh, on festive days, for sure. <laughs> so, final thing, what are you advising when you have clients coming into the showroom? What do you show them, influence them? What do you make them buy? The, the trends which are going definitely uh, things that they can wear every day diamond jewelry that they can wear to work platinum jewelry is really catching up and jadao jewelry for their weddings and festivals well that's a view of course from various jewelers across india but let's take a look on how the prices are trading in the futures market today as well remember the gold and silver prices did not do very well in the previous week we saw the gold prices breaking below 26000 the silver prices also are trading at a one month lows but today of course seems to be a positive day and we have seen some gain come back one and a half percent back in case of the Goldman Sachs Gold ETF there. Most of the ETFs, of course, seem to be trading positive there. And MCX and NCDX gold and silver prices also are doing well. So on your screens, one and a half to two percent of gains coming in for them. Remember, a lot of people who do not buy jewelry do tend to go out and buy paper gold also. On your screens, one percent gain coming in for the gold MCX. And 25,700 is how we are trading onto that one. 200 rupees of a jump up is what we've seen onto those prices. Should get silver prices on your screens because that has seen a turnaround as well coming in. We did see prices decline to one month lows, but we are back around 35,000 rupees with half a percent of a gain onto that one. Would want to get on what you've seen in an year-over-year -year basis also coming in for the gold prices. At this point in time, we are looking at 26,000 odd kind of levels on MCX. Last year, same time on Danteras, we were trading at around 28,000 rupees. It's nearly 4% of a decline coming in on year-on-year -year basis. 2013 was the year when you saw all-time highs coming in for the gold prices. 31,000 during Danteras and 35,000 rupees was an all-time high for gold prices in the year 2013. In the last couple of years, of course, we've seen some decline coming in for that. Rajiv, coming back to you, how are you looking at the prices going ahead? Because that really seems to be a bit of a concern. People who bought it a couple of years back clearly are not in the money. The point I have been trying to make really is because in the near term, we have seen the prices decline. So from 31,000 in 2013, we have seen, we really have come down nearly 5,000 rupees in case of the gold prices. But when you look at the last 10 years, gold prices clearly have given you a CAGR of 18%. In 2005, the gold prices were trading at 6,000 rupees. In 2015, we are looking at 25,000, 26,000 rupees kind of gains there. So the longer term holding in the gold prices clearly has given you returns. But when you look at the very near term prices, of course, the volatility is very high and we have seen very, uh, very volatile and bearish moves coming in for the gold and silver prices. But that really seems to be the view coming across that this is a good time to buy. Not too much of a decline is what you can expect in precious metals from these current levels. Rajiv, thank you so much for joining us as well on your sense on Danteras today. But moving on then, and India's largest stock exchange, NSC, and its benchmark index, Nifty, has completed 20 years with an attempt to make Nifty brand more global and create a uniform index from its table. NSE from today changed all its other indices names to Nifty. How does the market see this move and how will it help strengthen the brand further? Vijay Iyer gets the details onto that. India's most tracked stock market index, the Nifty, is going through a complete overhaul. Starting today, a handful of Nifty offshoots like MCAP50, CNXIT, CNX Infra will all be renamed after the flagship brand, such as Nifty Mid-50, Nifty IT and Nifty PSC. The Nifty which came into existence in 1996 has now become the barometer of the Indian stock market and the current revamp is aimed at giving it more appeal and recall value. Nifty traded on the Singapore Stock Exchange 
and we do take cues from the XGX uh, before the opening on our markets and definitely uh, that has been the kind of recognition that the national stock exchange has got and the acceptability in terms of global investors. So I would not be uh, hesitant to say that yes, there will be tremendous amount of positivities in terms of the outlook for the national stock exchange and Nifty is concerned. NSC, which is the country's largest stock exchange, accounting for a bulk of the total trading volumes, has been a trendsetter in many ways. The exchange has been in the forefront in adopting new technologies. And the Nifty revamp will take it a step closer to make it the flagship index of the Indian stock market. With Vijay Ganesh Iyer, Ashwin Mohan, ET Now, Mumbai. And with that, it's all the time that we have on the show. Thank you for watching. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.